What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Lace Up channel. My name is Mickey. Today we're going to discuss first in, first out. FIFO, the most coveted, most important, most controversial topic in warehouse management. Why? Because nobody seems to get it. I argue with my customers all the time about first in, first out. Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down for you guys. I'm going to make it stupidly simple and I'm going to show you exactly what first in, first out is and how you should set it up within your warehouse to keep expired products from happening and to keep full lot traceability. Anyways, let's get right into it. So first in, first out is exactly what it sounds like. Basically, every time you receive a product, you are going to record its expiration date. And when you go transfer the product from an overstock or put away bin into a picking bin, you want to transfer the one with the most recent expiration date. Now, what does most recent expiration date mean? That means the expiration date that is closest to today, meaning the oldest product. That ensures that you rotate out the oldest product first and then the newest product to ensure that your product stays fresh and that it never expires within your warehouse and you have to write off a loss of an entire pallet of something because it became expired. When you do first in, first out properly, this does not happen. So now that you know what first in, first out is, it's important to discuss the constraints, how to actually set it up within your warehouse. So this is the main point of disagreement with my customers. They're like, oh, Mickey, uh, I want to have 18 different products in the same bin location with 18 different expiration dates. And I'm like, listen up, Johnny, if you do that, that defeats the purpose of both lot traceability and first in, first out. The whole purpose for me to guarantee that you will achieve first in, first out, you must maintain one lot number, one expiration per item in a picking bin. You can't have multiple because the moment you have multiple, how do I guarantee to you that the picker who's grabbing the product to put it on the little cart that they're pushing up and down the aisles, how do I guarantee that they pick the right expiration date? Once you start mixing products within a picking bin, then you run the potential that the picker could pick the wrong expiration date, the wrong lot number, even the wrong product. Which is why I always recommend one product, one lot number, one expiration. You're probably gonna be like, oh, Mickey, are you crazy? I don't have that much room in my warehouse. I know, Johnny, most people don't have that much room in the warehouse. Bottom line is how you solve the problem, at least most of it, have multiple products, I don't care but you must have some kind of scanning system in the warehouse in place. And you can't mix more than one expiration or lot number per picking bin. So now that you know what first in, first out is and how first in, first out must be set up, it's important for me to let you know how my customers mess up their first in, first out. It's actually quite simple. They don't use a system. That's the first part where you're gonna really mess up. And by not using a system, you allow your employees to rotate down whatever they want. So let's say hypothetically, you receive an expiration date, you write down where that expiration date is located within your warehouse. You know it's at A-20-30-B. You know it's sitting right there. But here's what happens. When an employee needs that expiration date, they go to your little handy dandy handwritten piece of paper and they say, yeah, it's up there. You know what, it's too far. Let me grab this one because it's nice and close. It's gonna save me time. I'm lazy. I don't wanna walk all the way over there. I'm just gonna grab this one and rotate it down. Your first in, first out is now completely destroyed because you cannot allow your employees to dictate where they pull a product from. And this is the primary place where I see my customers mess up their first in, first out. The bottom line, guys, is if you want to maintain first in, first out, your employees must pull the product from where you tell them to pull the product right? Your employees must follow that piece of paper. And if you don't trust that the employee is going to follow that piece of paper, then you need to implement a system, a system that will force them to grab the oldest expiration first and won't let them scan anything else besides the oldest expiration date. This will be your only guarantee. So again, my customers fail in that they let their employees do whatever they want because they don't want to implement a bunch of processes that are going to slow them down. At the same time, they hate it when they get an entire pallet for with $6,000 worth of goods that goes bad or expires because they're like, oh, Oh, um, we don't want to use a system, dude. Why is it that every big company in the world, every distributor, every manufacturer has a warehouse management system in place? It's not for no reason. It's because the cost of implementing that warehouse management tends to be lower than the cost of losing product if you don't maintain first in, first out. So don't be like my customers that mess it up. Go get yourself a system. I don't care if it's ours. I don't care if it's someone else's. The bottom line is a system is necessary for you to maintain first in, first out 
for you to maintain freshness in your product, and for you to maintain the best possible customer service. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that video, give me a big like. I'm gonna try to pop out content like this every single week. Also, hit me down below, subscribe to the channel, because, look, I wanna just pop out content and help you guys. It's that simple. Just subscribe, what can I do besides help you? Anyways, I hope that you have a great day. Take care.